I do not always use a green screen, but when I do, it is always clean. <laughs> If you're looking for a nice, clean green screen for your Zoomer teams where you don't melt into the background, then stick around because in this episode, I'll show you how. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. Let's face it, virtual backgrounds in Zoom and Teams have become the norm for those wishing to hide their domestic confines. But really, I've been staring at so many people with half of their bodies disappearing or some sort of crazy green screen halo. It's just time to plus up the whole situation. Here's the five steps to getting this clean green screen effect on a reasonable budget. Step one, get a freaking green screen. A quick tour of Amazon will show you a wide range of green screen options from loose fabrics all the way to green screen paint and everything in between. My personal choice was the Elgato collapsible green screen. It's not the cheapest of the lot, but I can assure you that it is built for the long haul. It retracts tight and wrinkle free every time and is extremely durable. Step two. Light your green screen. You'll want to make sure your green screen is lit consistently, so I'd recommend getting a couple of LED broadcast lights. Right now I have two Loom Cube LED lights, but placing them at 10 and two relative to the camera view, they'll help keep the green screen lighting nice and even. Step three, add in a studio mixer. To get a really clean green screen effect, you'll need to mix or composite your webcam feed with a filter. For that, you need some broadcasting software to do the job. Here's my tip, download the OBS Studio. The Open Broadcaster Software Studio is a leading open source streaming software studio. It's proven and sponsored by YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, so you know it's legit and it will remain supported. Once installed, create a new scene and add your webcam as a source. With your webcam selected, click the Filters button and add a chroma key effect. Once here, select a color that matches your green screen. Based on your lighting, you may need to tweak your controls to clean your green screen. If it's still dirty, you may need to edit your lighting situation. Either way, it's going to be way better than the out-of-the-box Zoom or Teams background option. Step four add a background to your scene. For today, let's just add an image to our green screen and then drag it to your background. And finally, step five, add your new OBS virtual camera as your Zoom or Teams webcam of choice. First, in OBS, click the Start Virtual Camera button. This allows you to pipe whatever is in your OBS program feed into Zoom or Teams as your webcam. By the way, if you don't have it selected, you'll get this blue OBS image in Zoom or Teams when your OBS virtual camera is selected. So don't freak out, just start your virtual camera. Once you've got a taste of this OBS virtual camera concept, it really becomes a bit of an inception thing where you can switch up what your webcam shows. So be prepared for people to get really curious when you start dropping your hot new green screen on them. So there you have it. You now have an amazing clean green screen. And if you ever need to turn off the effect, just toggle off the webcam filter in OBS. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this little presentation plus up segment, stay tuned because I will be dropping a new episode hot and fresh every Thursday. I'll be dealing with all things presentations, slide design, live streams, and Zoom and Team plus ups. Hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get the latest. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.